The small Samoan village of Putasi has been completely destroyed. Boats have been grounded, houses flattened, the tsunami causing devastation across the, the scale, Pacific. That earthquake light. generated a tidal wave which destroyed Hupolo's idyllic southern coastline and changed the lives of many forever. Today the southern coast of Samoa is flourishing. In Lalomanu Ale Pata, this family lost 13 lives. Now, the Taufu family has rebuilt their livelihood from the ruins of 10 years ago. After a decade of coming to terms with tragedy, Botasi village has come back from the tsunami devastation with renewed life and a renewed village. In the place of death as it's known, a new maota is being built by a group of young Samoans from New Zealand who have designed a series of fales to replace what was lost. Today we'll be presenting to the Women's Committee and the Village of Botasi our designs for the Women's Committee Centre. Before we started designing the Botasi Women's Centre, we were to do some research on the Botasi area and in doing so we found um, some images of the destruction that happened from the tsunami in 2009. It was a really hard time for us but we knew it was a lot harder for those that were here. Uh, coming back here to Samoa, uh, I asked both Otuatanga Law and Malaysia and the Women's Committee around how we could be supporting the efforts to you know, regenerate their village, uh, which is taking it back to what it once was. While Paradise was rebuilt 10 years on, the scars of the Ngaluafi still run deep as people mark this 10 year anniversary of the many that were lost to them. Well, in instances like that, you, you, see, you see the strength of what makes us the people that we are. You know, the power of uh, Amala's love, you know, you know, taking a good position and it, it stays in your mind. Uh, and the lessons are, uh, even in that situation, is these are the things that makes us the people that we are. Well, to